Well, hello, back to the future fans. Yes, it's your friend in time here, Jason. Um, I just thought I might share with you what's going on for this week and the week after. Um, rain is, uh, around San Francisco. There's a bunch of rain happening over there, and it's just gonna end up over here very soon very soon and you can see the the clouds oh my gosh um we just had a little earthquake uh today and it was like a 5.9 something like that or at least I think it was but uh you know gotta be aware of that but I was prepared as you can see, everything here looks covered up pretty tight. Got all the boards under there. I got all the plywood under there. I even got the floor boards under there. And uh, everything is going to be nice and dry, hopefully. The only thing about this tarp is it's not that long enough because I still have all those 2 by 4s that are outside. Might have to cover that up. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, as you can see, this tarp is so old, it has holes on the side. There's a big hole right there, that's why that plank of plywood is on top of it. And there's a hole right there, let me zoom in. Fortunately, you can't see it because it's blurry. It's right there. I put duct tape there because it'll cover up the seal and I was prepared for this I knew that the rain was going to come back again eventually so um, yeah no more updates for a while you guys until I decide to either buy myself one of those garage indoor tents you know when you park your car in something like that and it's perfect because if I do that I'll put some weights on it so that way it'll stay and it'll be nice and dry I can still work on it indoors but those things are so expensive but they're just like pipes uh, metal uh, plumbing pipes you know so uh, maybe I'll make my own buy a new tarp we shall see how the, this weather will turn out um, we just had an earthquake today, it was like a 5.9, something like that, and uh, my mom, she yawned, don't worry about that, and uh, it just gets me worried because it was the San Andreas fault, and um, uh, all the way from uh, Eureka, yeah, there was an earthquake over there because of the San Andreas fault line over there and that worries me because Haiti had an earthquake too as well and uh, uh, it's just crazy how LA is but we didn't usually felt it that much here but there was one it was a little small one but that was an aftershock aftershock compared to theirs over there in Eureka so that settles that for my project project and uh no more updates for a while um until then let's see what we got going on here uh ooh. who has a street fighter 2 cabinet hmm that's right i do <laughs> why because we had this bad boy for like almost 10, 13 years. Yes, you know it. Um, it's a long time. Got my tools in there and all that good stuff. Everything. So. Come uh, on, coin. So. Anyways. The Street Fighter here is the best one because I'm thinking about turning it into a main cab and putting in a PC computer desktop in there and uh, everything that I can to uh, make it into a meme. I'm gonna have all kinds of emulator games running on here so um, this is my next 
uh, project that I'm going to work on. The buttons are so good. One player and two player. And the best part is it's in free mode. Yeah, gotta love that. <laughs> I'll talk about this in my other channel. Uh, in my DDR USA channel. So, what have we got? More power tools. And my toolbox up there. And, uh, my baby. Yes, my precious baby. Okay. I'll put her over here. And, uh, all those good gauges and whatnot that I still have to put on the car. And on the vehicle. So, um, yep. I plan to use these gauges when the weather clears by next week, hopefully. And I got two of these that are perfect match. And of course, the plutonium gauge. Let me get a better look at it. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Doesn't that look good? That's going to go on my ride. And, um,. Uh, We'll work our way through from there. So, another thing that I want to show you my DVD player. But, it matters uh, what's inside my DVD player. Let me show you. Plug this in. So, forgive me if the video is a little funny. You might want to fast forward this part. I got an idea that I want to do. About to see in a minute. So, uh, let's power this thing on. I was thinking about um, using this as a ride monitor, but um, eh, I figured, well, I might as well show you guys. Check it out. Yes, I am thirsty. Crush soda. No disc. What? Oh. Hold on. Let it load. Yes, I am thirsty. <laughs> Dang. Turn the volume down. But you get my idea, right? You get what I'm trying to uh, work around. So, uh, let it load again. Oh, yeah. This was something that was on their side. So. Hurry up! Get in! Watch your step! Hurry up! Get in, let's go! We've got to move! Hurry up! Get ready! Don't worry about a thing, you're in good hands! I still haven't worked all the bugs out of this thing. And no matter, we're on a mission of universal proportions.
So I plan to buy a digital picture frame. And putting that over here, right in the middle of my dashboard. And then that and the ride will all be going at the same time. So we'll see how it goes. 